I told y'all we could do better and we did better. So I had my friend Miranda come back over because I was convinced that I could do a roller set on her hair and look where we started versus where we ended up. Yay! Okay, turn. Let's crack see. The code. We didn't crack the code, child. We didn't crack the code. I know, I know. Y'all keep watching so you can see how we got to that end result. So Miranda came already cleansed and deep conditioned. So I just added a bit of a hair cream to be a good foundation for her hair. And then we went in with this spray from Cara Care that I heard really great things about and then water. Once we saturated her hair with water, we really wanted her hair to get like soaking wet and then add our foam on top of that. So I just went ahead and and added the foam to the whole section of her hair. And then as I went through to actually roll her hair, I added a little bit of foam here and there as I needed to make sure that her hair was the right consistency to get that stretch as we rolled her hair. Now you'll notice here that her hair is kind of lifting out of the roller, like it's kind of fuzzy up on the top. I was concerned about that at this point because I was like, I don't know if I need to add more water. Do I need to add more foam, cream? What do I need to do? But I ended up trying to just add more water and rolling her hair as tight as I could without it obviously being uncomfortable for her. And I was just hoping that it would be fine as long as mo the majority of her hair was rolled the correct way, right? So that's what I did. I just went ahead and continued rolling her hair up. And it turned out that her hair being a little frizzy outside of the roller at that point didn't make a huge difference. Like it didn't make or break the style. So that's okay if you're also trying to like follow along this video and like use what we used on your hair if your texture is closer to hers. You can totally still get a beautiful result even if you've got a little bit of frizziness coming out of your roller. So once we made sure that her hair was fully dry and Miranda had to sit under that dryer for an hour, a solid hour, anything less would not have done it. And even with her hair as I was taking it down out of the rollers, you can even see here that she has two different textures happening. And a lot of us are like this, where we have clear heat damage or chemical damage or just demarcation from one texture in our hair to the next. And that's why I love roller sets or even just doing any sort of like roller rod set is because you can really mask that with the styling and have your hair blend really nicely together when you roll your hair instead of trying to like do a wash and go on your hair or something like that where you can specifically see like the two different textures. But anyway, this is how her hair looked fresh out of the rollers and I knew at this point we were on the right track. So I used two different products on her actually before pressing her hair out. I used the Nairobi Smokeless Cream Press, which is super old school, y'all. Like, I don't know how I even found this stuff. And then I also used this Cara Cara Cream Press. Now, they both gave good results, but I wanted to really see the difference between the two. So this first side is the side that I used the Cara Cara Conditioning Cream Press and the Cara Cara Liquid Sheen Spray. I kind of interchanged changed between the two products on this side because I wasn't convinced that the Cara Care conditioning cream was going to get the job done and it was a little bit heavy honestly so I thought that maybe the spray would give it a little bit more of a light feel and it did but the spray is definitely more like an oil so even doing one spritz on each little section that I was using the flat iron on was a bit much for her hair and since we're here let's talk about heat settings and the tools that I used on her hair so I used a hot comb first on her roots or this small little flat iron as well I kind of use them interchangeably but I use the hot comb first on 400 degrees and then this ceramic one inch flat iron on 410 so I still did my best to only do one pass on the flat iron per section of her hair I would hit the root with the hot comb or this other little tiny flat iron for her edges and then flat iron one time down because I am going to bring the flat iron back for the final styling for her. Because at this point, I could have just finished her hair off with a flat iron curl in conjunction with like this press right here, but she really needed a trim. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and do a straight flat iron one pass and then I'll trim your ends a little bit and then we'll go back in to curl, which did not take a lot of time at all. For me personally, I actually like to re-roll my hair loosely in the rollers again so that my hair can set into that curl while it's still hot from the flat iron. 
but you can really do styling however you like. And quickly before we finish, this hairstyle is going to hold a lot longer for her than an average silk press. It's also way less heat because we skipped that whole blow dry process where you have to pull and create tension on the hair so much because the blow dry before the press for a silk press is crucial. And part of that is because you have to really, really get that hair almost straight just with the blow dryer itself. Oh, and before I go, let's chat a little bit about how the Nairobi cream press felt different than the Care Care cream press. This side feels so much more lighter than Nairobi. Like me shaking it, I can feel like the root my hair moving. This is stiff. Yeah. Yeah. And see, on camera, like this side, it looks like it's just holding the curl better. Yeah, right, because of, like you said, the weight. Yep, the weight of it, but at the same time, like on camera too, I can't see the difference between side to side. Mm. So it'll just, but that's, again, that's good because this side has more like lift. Yep. And it's like has a little bit more bounce. This side, yeah, is more weighted. And I talked to Miranda a little bit after this, later that day and the next day, the side where we use the Nairobi cream press didn't hold the curl as much and was a bit frizzier than the side where we use the Care Care products. So really, I think it's each to their own as far as which side or which product you would rather go with because I think it's a matter of figuring out what your hair does best with and how long you wanna keep the style. Because for me, I look at it from a perspective of what's gonna give me the most longevity, which I think for her would be the Care Care products. But what do y'all think though? What do you think about these results, these products that we chose to use today? Have you tried them before? Let me know down below. Let's share our insights. And until my next video, I'll see you next time. Bye.